So people are always asking me how uh, I get color on the outside of things and what the glaze is about. So the glaze is really the ingredients of a glass. It comes, it looks like a, like a paint or it's a slurry. I make this up myself from a formula that I, I came up with myself. So it's all the ingredients of a glass, sort of powdered. So when I get it on the pot and the pot gets really hot, they'll fuse together and, and form into the glass and stick to the pot. So I just pour some in. For this bottle type form, you can swirl it around and make sure you coat it in the hole inside. That's it. Try not to get it on the outside. And I had also talked about having uh, lines that define parts of the pot that give it a clean aspect or where design begins. I also like those lines to define where a glaze starts or ends. Um, but it's okay if I don't hit those exactly because uh, most of my glazes have some movement, so when they get hot in the kiln, they, they flow, they drip a little bit, it gives them a natural look. So I'm going to try and dip it to that line. More or less. There it is. Uh, anything else that you splash on it, you can just wipe off with a sponge. That's it. So uh, we're loading the kiln and essentially everything goes on these refractory shelves and uh, it's sort of, you have to know where the effect is going to be because it's a wood fired kiln. The fire goes in certain places and brings ash which gives more effect in, in some areas than others. Also because the ash makes its own glaze and sticks to things, you need to put pots on these little wads. These are uh, crumbly clay that we make up that after the firing you can just pop off there. So that keeps it from sticking to shelves and stuff. So this shelf in particular, the stuff down below gets a lot of effect. This shelf doesn't get as much effect so we're going to try and stack this kind of loose. So any pieces that you really want to get blasted get more effect you might want to put them on the outside like that. to 